Hi, fellow soul travelers. Have you been wondering how you can use feng shui to bring more joy into your life? Hi, my name is Luann Civic, and I am a master educator for interior alignment, instinctive feng shui, and seven star blessing space clearing. And this, yes, you can bring more joy into your life using the power of feng shui. In a lot of different ways, but I'm going to give you three easy steps today to increase the joy power in your home and in your life. The first step probably makes a lot of sense. It's release whatever is in your home that does not represent joy. I think Felicia wrote a beautiful article this month on um, releasing clutter around things that are not joyful. So take a cruise around your house and look at the things that don't bring you joy. It could be things that have a negative energy emotional energy associated with them, a, a bad memory associated with them, or it just represents something that isn't fun to you. Sometimes there is stuff we need to keep that isn't fun. Um, perhaps it's tax information, things like that, but it doesn't have to sit out in a big pile in plain sight, right? You can label it and put it, put it in a box and label it. And sometimes if you're not sure what to label it, you can always say it, for my, for my growth and learning, right? And just um, say, yep, that's why I kept, it was part of my growth and learning. Once we've cleared all the non-joyful stuff away, then here's the key. You need to think about what means joy for you. For different people, it means different things, right? It might mean for you, you might feel really joyful when you get the new car of your dreams, right? Maybe that's what's feeling joyful for you. Or maybe joyful for you is that you finally get to go on that trip you've wanted to go on. Or joyful for you might having all your family around um, for a wonderful meal and, and happy celebration. So think about what joyful means for you. It's the first step. If you're having a challenge like, I don't, I don't even know what would make me feel joyful, then Go back to maybe things that brought you joy as a child. What did you like to play with? What um, brought you a great amount of fun? Um, there's nothing wrong with playing Legos as an adult, I'll just say. So think about what kinds of things might have given you that childlike joy. But it, if you're still not sure, I invite you to take a stroll out in nature and Take a stroll, not a power walk to get to a certain place, but a stroll where you're really looking, listening, feeling, and observing the environment. And I will bet that there are things when you take that moment to immerse and you see the butterfly or you hear the bird that it evokes a sense of joy. Once you know what brings you joy, we're on to the third step of how to use feng shui. And in this simple case, we're just gonna use symbolism, right? We wanna represent that item that would bring you joy or that feeling that would bring you joy in your home. So if it's a particular item, maybe you have a picture of it and you hang a picture of it up. Maybe the last wonderful family gathering. <clears throat> and if you've never gotten to have that family gathering, get photos of everybody and group them together as if there's a virtual kind of family gathering going on through the photos. If it's a place you want to visit, get photos from that place and, or images from the internet and frame them, put them up and have the energy of those be a part of your home. And if it's your stroll in nature, perhaps you invoke the sound of bird song in your home, the colors that you see in nature, more nature imagery. Bring in those things that bring you joy, that excite all of your senses. And that's an easy, fast way to use the power of feng shui to bring joy into your life. See you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>